Gideon, welcome here in Venlo. Thank you, thank you. I'm very happy to be here. It was a kind of an awkward interview on the, on the parking lot. We first have to explain that. You were not allowed and not entitled to speak with the press as long as the contract wasn't signed. So can you please explain to the people at home that you're not that arrogant guy? No, nah, I'm not that arrogant guy. I'm very happy to be here. The, the cameraman came out of nowhere. Um, so I didn't really know what to say and I didn't want to look, look straight into the camera. So I felt awkward even just being walking there, being followed by the camera. So, But I'm, I'm very happy to be here and, and I can't wait to get started. So that is a good explanation. Thank you for that. Uh, about yourself, um, when we open your Wikipedia page, it's like Ethiopian, German, American. Can you explain a bit more about that? So my parents are both from Ethiopia and they both moved to Germany, Berlin to be specific. And then I was born in Berlin and then we moved to America because uh, we needed more support from the family. So we had more family in America, Maryland to be specific specific and then Arsenal saw me play in a tournament I continued to play f uh, soccer in America and then we say football here quit with the soccer part it's football in Europe <laughs> so football um, and then yeah since I was 16 I joined Arsenal also we can also Deutsch reden with you yeah, I can not Deutsch question. <laughs> okay, but we continue in English that's easier for me and easier for the people to watch um, you already named it Arsenal, very big European club. You were there, you got your contract, your first contract, they renewed the contract, but now you're in Venlo. Can you please tell us what happened from the part in between Arsenal and VVV? Yeah, so last year I went on loan to Glasgow Rangers, uh, which had a great time. We got promoted to the top division there also, and then... Uh, I went back to Arsenal and then from the beginning of the season till now I wasn't really getting a lot of games because they have a lot of midfielders and you know it's a top top competition there with the midfielders they've got so I wanted to get first team football especially because I've had it already so I wanted more of a taste and I hope to get promoted here as well. You're a bit young to play in Arsenal 1 eh? and then everybody will say okay he needs some experience. How was the experience in the Scottish League? I mean that's where the real guys play. Yeah, it was very tough. Um, you know, it was similar to this team. We we had a lot of possession. We we had we had pressure to win every single game, uh, which is which is very good. Which is which is the type of teams I want to play and the teams that want to win every week. So yeah, it's very similar to Venlo. Um, they had a massive support. Um, so yeah, it was very good, very good experience. For a lot of people, it's strange that a big talent like you comes to VVV and Venlo, but we have to explain that the head of academy is a Dutch guy, eh? Yeah, Andries Jonka, I'm sure a lot of uh, Dutch football fans uh, know about him. Um, he was assistant of Louis van Gaal. He has a lot of experience. He he told me that I needed to come to a team that has a lot of the ball, that's maybe top of the league, um, so I can get on the ball, show my talent, which is maybe I'll perform better if I go to maybe to a lower or a team, which wouldn't be so good for me. So I came here, which uh, I agreed with him, and I hope to show what I can do. About yourself and mainly about your position in the field, what can you tell us about your uh, football qualities? Uh, and you can be very proud of yourself, so please be specific. Uh, I like to play in the number 8 role or maybe the number 10 role, but I'm more of a midfielder number 10, not so much of a forward number 10. I like to get on the ball, I like to pass it, I like to play 1-2s, um, so I like to think of myself that player, creative player, um, yeah. And what about your, uh, are you a quick guy? No, I'm not very quick. I'm quick in the head. Um, I, like, I like to think I, I think quick on the pitch. You know, I like to think I'm one, two steps ahead. Um, that's, that's my qualities. That's what I look forward to. So, yeah. You saw the team uh, last Friday. Uh, hopefully for you, it was the last time that you were in the stands and not with the team. What do you think about, not specifically that game, but of all the things that you heard and seen of VVV in the, in the past few weeks? What do you think about the team and about last game's uh, game? Uh, I thought they were very comfortable um, against them. They won 3-0. Um, I don't think at any point they looked like they were going to concede. The attacking players had good movement, um, which I think I can work with work with very well um, the very the guy the players are very friendly to me they welcome me with open arms so yeah I'm very happy to be here and uh, of course we have to talk about your uh, Arsenal Champions League game how was that experience and who were you playing to yeah it was incredible we were playing against Galatasaray away and we are winning and that is really a big crowd over there in Turkey yeah it was it was massive um, 
we were winning 4-0 at halftime, I think. And then some Flaminia thing had a little injury. And then Arsene Wenger just told me you know, to get ready and I warmed up and I was like, wow, like this is this is co my dreams coming true. So, yeah, it was incredible to play just uh, for 45 minutes. Okay, and maybe the people explain to you about how it's going here in, in Venlo and in, in the other away games. It will not be those big crowds. Yeah, that's okay. Um, that's okay with me. Hopefully next season they'll get a lot lots of uh, crowds playing against Ajax and PSV. But at the moment it's just trying to get every win uh, as possible and then the the nice will the nice things will come in the future. You're ready for a championship? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to get promoted again. <laughs> Thank you very much and uh, welcome. Thank you. Ja, ja.